Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. You don't know the power of the dark side. I have a tender spot in my heart. Cripples, bastards, and broken things. What about second breakfast? I have an army. We have a hulk. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. This is a tasty burger. I tell him to suit up. I'm bringing the party to you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Broke Boy Media. And today we're going to be reviewing El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. My name is Christian, and I have Devin with me, as always. How are you doing on this fine set today? Hello, hello. Just woke up about an hour ago. Ooh, an hour. I've been up since like seven. We're getting stuff yeah, you're, done. You're an, you're an early riser, that's for sure. Yeah, that's true. I went to, <laughs> I went to bed at like eleven last night, which is actually really weird, but for whatever reason, I couldn't sleep. So here I am. Got a lot done yesterday and this morning, so I'm just ready to talk about some Breaking Bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So as I said before, uh, we're going to be reviewing uh, the El Camino Breaking Bad movie. And before we get started today, uh, you can listen to this on YouTube. You can also listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You can also listen to it on Stitcher. We're on Stitcher now, Devin, and Google Podcasts, which nice. is pretty cool. And Anchor, which is more our um, our RSS main feed as well. Um, so let's just uh, dive right in. So <clears throat> Netflix uh, gathered my attention this week. We we didn't go to the movies. We we stayed in and watched the movies. So uh, let's read the. So it's uh, always always a nice uh, nice convenience break. for us. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I um I don't really think this would have done well in theaters. I think Netflix or just any streaming service in general. Uh, made more sense, especially since the entire series of Breaking Bad is on Netflix. So for those who haven't seen, you know, quite possibly one of the best TV shows ever made and has the, an actual really, really good ending, very few TV shows nowadays do, you know, they can check it out for the movie, um, you know, before the movie hit. Hopefully you have, you know, checked it out before because we're going to be talking about a little bit of spoilers uh, in this, but I'll just read the synopsis really quick. Uh, after escaping Jack and his gang, Jesse Pinkman goes on the run from the police and tries to escape his own inner tor- turmoil. Uh, directed by uh, Vince Gillian and writ- written by Vince Gillian. Uh, was he the original writer for Breaking Bad, uh, the show, or yeah, he's he he's was? the grandmaster. Okay, that that's what I thought. It, it felt, you know, it honestly felt like this movie. Was you know it's 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 an epilogue in in general. Um, it, it it felt it didn't feel separate at all from from the actual show. It's kind of like how with Downton Abbey when the movie came out, it, it felt like they never left, and it just felt like more of a continuation of the show. But uh, what, what were your initial thoughts uh, when you first heard about um, them making a Breaking Bad movie? Did you think it was going to be good, bad, or just so so? Well, before we get into it, I just wanted to say a quick uh, rest in peace to Robert Forster. He was actually in the uh, El Camino movie. He passed That's away right. yesterday. Yesterday, I believe. Yeah, he was like the um, the vacuum cleaner store guy. Yeah, that's right. He, he and was I actually like that really. Too. He was really good in the in the movie. I felt like his his final performance that 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 we know of. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, yeah he's, he's been acting. He's, he's been acting for a while now. He was in Jackie Brown way back when. He, he was. Really he one. was. Well, yes, our condolences go out to um, his family on his passing as well. So that is very sad. And that that's really nice that you mentioned that because I almost totally forgot. I just came back from the gym, so I'm kind of like pumped up. You know, I'm just excited to talk about some Breaking Bad in general. But, um, yeah. Well, yeah, he had, a, he had a great movie to end it off on, though. Nice. Oh, nice absolutely. Career. It's kind of like, you know, with Heath, Heath Ledger's send off the Joker. That was his last performance. And, um yeah, we uh, they they are no longer with us, and you know we would they will be truly missed. But um, on to a lighter subject. <laughs> um, so what were your thoughts when you first heard that they were making a Breaking Bad movie for Netflix? I had some mixed thoughts about it because, like you mentioned before, Breaking Bad is one of the few shows that actually had a really good ending. It's very hard to pull off endings for TV shows, and they they actually did it. So I was kind of wary about it, but at the same time, they also have Better Call Saul going on, and that show is very good as well. So they've already proven that they can 
make continuations of the show already and be successful with that. So I was definitely excited the more I thought about it. Yeah, because I and and I actually I haven't I've I've watched all of Breaking Bad, um, but the last time I saw it was when the final season aired. So it's been a while for me. But, you know, it a lot of things are starting to come back to me as I was watching the, um, you know, El Camino. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, that happened. This happened. Yeah, that little that little rewind they showed before the movie was really helpful. Yeah, it, it really, really was. That, that's what I liked about it. I was like, "That's right. That's what happened. That's what happened." So I, I kind of wish I, I wish I could have rewatched it, but it's, I just didn't really have time. It's all right. A lot of got, episodes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the movie. I was like, "Oh, yeah, you know, it's only two hours." Well, like, yeah, the entire yeah. show. Yeah, I wish yeah, I would have watched the movie, it too. That would have been that would have been pretty cool. But yeah, oh well. It's yeah, it's it's a very deep and heavy show. <laughs> For those of you who haven't uh, delved into it. Um, what are you know, doing? <laughs> well, I know uh, Dwayne over at uh, uh, Cine- uh, Cinemania, he's um, just starting Breaking Bad for the first time. So um, I was talking to um, he was he mentioned it on Twitter. I was like, oh, bro, you haven't what? What? Like, what? Like, all right. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, if that's not your stick, I get it. Some people like it. Some people don't. But Breaking Bad. Woo, that's crazy, man. Great, great show. It, it like it like changed everything about how shows should be run. Like you got to end it early before, before something starts to get bad. <clears throat> yeah, Walking and don't dead. drag it out too long. <clears throat> like um, you know, Walking Dead. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I'll just give my quick thoughts really quick. I, I wasn't entirely sure what to think about the movie when it first came out. It was like you know, I I thought it was a perfect ending. Um, but you know, after watching it, I was like, yo, it, it's a very grounded show. <laughs> it's it's not like over the top. It's very well thought out, and it it um it it exceeded my expectations. You know, we're we're always excited to see Jesse Pinkman up on his adventures, and you know, having that nice little Walter White uh, flashback in there was pretty cool too. I love how it just like brought you right back into the Breaking Bad world. Yeah, like it's, it's like it's like you never left because yeah. you know I've actually never watched. So good at creating it. Yeah, I've actually like I started watching uh, Better Call Saul and then I kind of stopped. I don't know why I stopped. It wasn't that it wasn't good. It's just I always have like <laughs> this tendency to like start a really good TV show and then I get distracted by something else. I'm like, well, I'm almost done with this series. Let me finish this up. And then I have like all these other TV shows in the back burner. But yeah, I need to get back into it as well. I mean, yeah. I watched the first season or two, but oh, absolutely! And you know, you know, Aaron Paul, you know, Mike Badger, everyone, Skinny P, everyone's back at it, you know, within this, and they just, they, you know, the chemistry's there. It's it's great overall. I haven't heard a bad thing about it. Um, I've always wanted an El Camino growing up, honestly, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's what happened. I really had to. I really had to think about what happened in the ending of Breaking Bad for a hot second. I was like, I probably should just watch a refresher uh, video. On I, really, I really forgot how terrible of a person Todd was. Yeah, I did too. I was like, mm. <laughs> I love Jess- I love Jesse Plemons though. He's such a good actor. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it was but, so uh, funny sometimes. So any other? You, favorite- you want some soup? <laughs> some good soup, man. Um, so, um, did you have like? Well, before we get into, so let's. I guess let's go into what didn't work for you, uh, for the movie overall. Since we, you know, praised it so much so far. Any um, criticisms? There were a couple points where they were maybe going back and forth in time a little too often. I kind of like that, liking. but yeah, I, 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 I liked it in general. But sometimes it took away from what they were trying to say for a little bit. Yeah, because for a while I was trying, I was trying to remember. I was like, "How did Jesse escape?" And then I was like, "Oh yeah." It, it, I mean, I'm still, I still have a few blo- you know, like blank spots in my head. Because, like I said, it's been a while since I've even rewatched it. You know, since I uh, last time I saw the finale was the last and final time they aired it. So. Um, and I was like, I'm like, how did he escape again? And yeah, all that happened. I really like the, I think my favorite part was when he goes, uh, back into the uh, old apartment to uh, look for the money. And yeah. Was that like, was really, really intense. Yeah. It's like I was classic like, <laughs> tense breaking bad scene. So many twists. I was like, Ugh. But, um, yeah, the pacing, um, I, I felt like I didn't, I didn't feel like two hours went past in general. I felt like it was a lot shorter and I don't know why, maybe cause I just watched it so early and it wasn't like a you know 
It didn't feel like a chore to me either. So that's maybe why. I don't know. I thought the pacing was pretty good. I liked the transition scenes, you know, between the past and the um and the uh past and the future or present, I should say, past and the present. But um, I think... guess I guess one other small complaint I would have is I kind of wish they did like a mini series instead, to kind of like flesh it out a little bit more. Yeah, like maybe yeah. maybe a six episode little little season. Well, like yeah, because I mean he kind of throws his parents off the scent. You know, and like, you know, we get it. He's, you know, he's trying to start a new life. He's up in Alaska. We're like, all right, the was the, the last frontier. We're like, all right, we, we get it. And, but like, it was kind of, you know, he threw his parents, you know, for a loop. Obviously, the cops never caught him, but I mean, I felt like he was, obviously, like, I felt like he was in danger. But then, like, halfway through the movie, it was like, he kind of snuck around pretty easily um, overall. But um, yeah, it was, I, I wish she was in. I wish I would have felt like he was in more of a. I mean, obviously he was in a sticky situation, but I wish like that was the case more throughout the entire, you know, movie instead of just like I think it was for like maybe like the first hour, hour and a half, and then it kind of just like oh well, like yeah, he he gets away. And we're like cool, like it was it was nice. Like don't you know? Don't get me wrong, I didn't hate it in um, any way, shape, or form. Um, I wouldn't say it was unneeded. Um, because I kind of like the way that it ended, but yeah, I do agree with you. It should have been more of like a mini series. It should have been a limited series, honestly. I I, I do agree with that because you know we've seen that with multiple. You know, Maniac was a limited series, told the entire story, boom, done. Um, unbelievable mini mini series, boom, done. So yeah, I I definitely agree with you on that. But the stuff I liked, I really loved um, everything with. Uh, Skinny Pete and Badger. They're always pretty funny. <laughs> Man, Skinny Pete. That was actually like a really cool transition when they showed like the video game on the TV as he was like driving. Playing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was was like, like, I was like, whoa, what happened to the graphics? I was like, whoa, what game. are they doing here? I'm like, geez, man, this is some bad CGI. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. But yeah, man. Um, I, I had a great time with it overall. Um, did you want to get into scores really quick, or did you have anything else to say before we uh, wrap up? Yeah, you mentioned that apartment scene that was like really, really well done because he's he's spending all this time searching for the money, and then when he <laughs> finally he finally finds it in the fridge, and then these dudes just show up and like, oh come on. Yeah, and then there weren't cops ever. They weren't even cops in the first place. I was like, yeah, he was like, wait, you guys aren't cops. Yeah, as soon as he grabbed the um the uh, extension cord i'm like bro where's your handcuffs <laughs> yeah he, that's when he found out he's like yeah no never mind <laughs> i'm like wow and then, hiding the money in the fridge though and then i kind of like how they tied it all together by having the guy who came to get the money he he kind of was there during um jesse's like imprisonment or like encagement yeah and was just kind of being a dick to him so it all ties together yeah very, very, uh, you know, not so nice ending for Walt, but a very nice ending for Jesse to start a new life. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure Vince Gilligan was like the whole time was kind of just like, oh, I really wish I gave Jesse a better ending. And then he just, yeah, the and it's like, there's not much else you can do, you know, it shows Jesse on the run and him escaping, you know, and kind of just starting over. And I mean, still in the U.S but <laughs> alaska alaska yes <laughs> mike mike told him to go alaska he ended up in alaska yeah man oh man but uh so what, what would you give this uh did you want to do scores really quick i'm with yeah you. uh what would you give this out of a uh, out of 100 i'm thinking like uh, a solid 80 okay i um what did i oh no that was for honey boy wow i'm like getting my reviews mixed up i i, I would definitely have to agree um this is solid 80 all around. You know, it was perfect for Netflix. Um, like was, I said before, you know, if if this was in theaters, I don't think it would have done as well. And you know, putting on a streaming service where more uh, where more viewers can, you know, just who already have Netflix pop on and you know, you you know, all, all those uh, Netflix reviewers who are, <laughs> you know, leaving or who aren't subscribing to Disney Plus. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, they're, we'll they're not, see. yeah, yeah, we'll see. I'm like, uh, bro, there, there's, there's going to be a perfect trifecta of streaming services. And my theory is HBO Max, Netflix, and Disney Plus. Those are the three that I'm sticking with and going with. Apple TV, I mean, we'll see. I'll try it out. But I'll uh, be getting it for free, I believe, for a year. Apple TV? Yeah. 
How? That comes with uh, every new iPhone. Oh, does it really? Oh, wow. Man, I, I missed the curve on that one. That's all right. But um, yeah, uh, thank you for coming on, Devin, as well. Oh, I, as I also just want to say that, that cowboy like like gun scene where they like oh, did, did yeah, a little face that off. Was really that was cool. so cool. He had those two boof ass guns. And the, one, <laughs> the one tiny one was in his pocket. It was the whole just time. it was a distraction. <laughs> it was so perfect. That was pretty sweet. I did not expect that to happen. I'm like, dude. I'm like Jesse. I, I don't just think... right right through his pocket. Right. I was like Jesse. I I don't think you could whip that thing out in time. I'm like, what's going on? And then boom, right through his jacket. I was like, whoop. That was crazy. Good stuff. Aaron Paul outdid himself again. Absolutely, definitely carried the uh, weight. Of this movie, since it, it was... also it also weirdly reminded me of Toy Story Four because in the beginning we were like, "Oh, do we really need this?" Toy Story Three ended so well. Yeah, that but is they true. Just, they just made a really good movie, and it it was a nice send off for Woody. And it wasn't was like a, nice a send off for Jesse. Yeah, it wasn't like a forced thing either. Like if if they had a story to tell, then they'll tell it. And they're like, okay, you know, we can make this into you know a movie or like a limited series or what have you. And yeah, I definitely agree. It's not like they forced it. We're like, oh, you know, we're going to do like, it's like, oh man, Toy Story 3 did so well. You know, we're going to do four, five, and six. It's like, oh, we're going to do like another trilogy. And it's like, no, you know, it's it's been a while since Toy Story 3. And I felt like they had a story to tell and they told it. Same with Breaking Bad. So that, that was a really good point. Absolutely. I, I'm glad they're not necessarily milking it. I mean, if they wanted to go farther on, they could. I mean, Downton Abbey was kind of the same way where, you know, like there was the ending of the movie but it definitely could have went on i definitely felt like the same for breaking bad and you know if, if they have something else they would like to tell if they're not doing better call Saul, then so be it yeah i actually really want to see vince gill can branch off see what else he can do because yeah. he's obviously very impressive yeah definitely want to see him do some some new stuff that'd be really cool but um yeah let's just wrap up here um thank you for coming on Devin. as always you know we'll uh we, we have another review coming up are we doing little monsters or are we just gonna Pass that um, train like uh, Gem- Gemini I'm, Man. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. I don't know how much buzz watched, there is around it. I haven't watched it yet either. Uh, we'll we'll wait and see. But we got some movies coming. We got Double Tap coming out next week. Zombie Land Double Tap. So that'll be cool. Overall, but as always, everyone, you can listen to this uh, again on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, uh, Google Stitcher. I mean. Google Play, wow, and Stitcher. I almost said Google SoundCloud and Anchor as well. Wouldn't be surprised if they own SoundCloud. Honestly, yeah, because like when I when I set up on Anchor, it was like, you know, I set up the certain ones, you know, the the big like four or five that people normally listen to podcasts on. There are people who listen to podcasts on Anchor as well, obviously, but out of nowhere, I got like these random emails. It was like, oh, you know, it's on like on this. Uh, uh, outbreak, outcast. I I don't know what it is. It's like four or five different random ones that Anchor just set us up with. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. So, well, we'll, we'll see where it goes. And you know, of course, this will uh, be on YouTube um, as probably just an audio version as well because there's not a lot of uh, uh, stuff out there for it. But yeah, uh, let's just end it there, and uh, we'll we'll see you guys later. We're gonna go. Um, I don't know, just enjoy our weekend and we hope you do the same. Peace. So get me a dog and live.